Welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. I'm the Fusilier. We started with one, now we have three, through a lot of trials and tribulations. Lumi wanted to see the world, and over the past nearly 20 days, she sure as fuck has seen the world. Things are uh, going uh, different. Things have been hectic around the colony lately, and here is our latest fucking problem. Beavers. Now, these are alpha beavers, genetically engineered with machine lag efficiency in our manic state that compels them to eat trees whole. Trees are an important strategic resource of the colony. We can't permit this, so we gotta take them down. Now, when you start hunting these guys, they may all go nuts and decide to attack. We don't exactly have an army here anyway, and we're taking care of two wounded prisoners dealing with major fucking infections. Oof. Because of all the wounds and stuff they sustained. Now we brought someone else through these so we know it is possible to bring people through this. But what we're gonna do is... We've gotta handle this and we've gotta do it now. We get Lumi and Chili and tell them to head out for the area immediately. We're gonna leave Doc behind to care for the prisoners and make sure they don't, you know, try anything. Not that he could do anything about it, but maybe there'll be a psychological aspect. And we don't want to leave them untreated in case there's disease or something. Alright, so. There we go, games have a lot smooth. Sometimes Fraps is just weird. So let's get going. We've gotta handle this, we can't let them kill all the trees. Doc's gonna to attend to what's Doc, Doc's gonna to attend to. We get over there slowly. And of course, hunting just became your number one priority. Now, they are not hostile units. They're, you know, they're bothersome. But that's nothing new. Now, of course, we can order him to fire at these creatures, and that is what we will be doing. Lumi has to go around... Actually, where the hell is Lumi? There you go. Get up there and fuck him up. Now, if we tell them to hunt, they'll bring back each body as they get it. That's not what we want. We want them to get fucked up. Move up, Jilly. Pour it on. This is basically a war. And the fact is, if they fucking f decide to fight back, we're in real trouble. So that's one of eleven. And of course, this is a lot of meat. Lumia is also really deadly with that rifle. Let's concentrate our attacks. There you go. Now, this may look a little cruel to just... I do not like wholesale just fucking murdering the shit out of these animals, but... We don't have anything resembling a choice. Not today. I've said, like... They will deforest this area, what is a critical colonial resource. We can't just let them have our fucking wood. And we're gonna be hauling bodies all day. Luckily, it doesn't look like we're going to get the event where they fight back. It might be more justice if they do fight back, but it is much nicer for us because that this could have gone really bad if they all decided to swarm us. Because Alpha Beavers are not necessarily the most deadly of opponents. Let me get in there. Fuck it. Also, friendly fire is still common in this game. They they changed how hunting protocols work, but in combat, people will shoot each other all the fucking time. Knock that one unconscious. Yeah, look. He's attacking after being harmed. Perfectly understandable. Motherfucker. Nice shot! Take the tally. 11 dead. 
There's just you left, buddy. He's fleeing into the building. One's going for a weapon. Get in there. He's wounded. Take aim. Any last words, Mr. Beaver? No. Very well. Finish him off. Ah, target concluded. There we go. Now, take them to food storage. Before they rot. That is a lot of meat. Probably more meat than we can handle. We're gonna need to get going on this, like, immediately. Doc, you're gonna help. We could also move these damn things to, you know, general storage. We do need to get a lot of just hauling done. Things have just been so fucking hectic lately. Chili, you're hauling. But you're also the warden. I guess, Lumi, you're the one on the haul duty. Above all else. Doc has stuff that he should be doing, without a doubt. But it is important to haul. We will put that pretty high up. Oh, you're back on your feet. Alright, he's developed an immunity. That's good. Slowly fighting through it. He. I think. Yeah, that's a he. God, this game looks so much better than it used to. I love look back at some of the early alpha footage that I took and other people took. The game is just better in every respect. It's not even like it was a controversial update. It's just one of those things where they just are good now and better. Yeah, that was a hard day's work. Go ahead and get some food, guys. Doc's been hard at work for once. No, he, he's fine. It was just a very unfortunate timing on that. Lumi, for fuck's sake. Oh, did you give up your... Now she's gonna get the... Oh, I slept on the ground, deep off. Whose fault is that, fam? Okay, I really want to get those beavers hauled in. God damn it. Now, of course, needs must be met. We do have two days to do it, but there may be other bullshit coming. Doc, get on the butchering instead. And give me one more round of beavers, guys, if you know what I'm saying. Then, you know. Like, after you do that, then you can go to sleep. Sorry to work you guys like this, but, uh... We could just leave them out there to rot, or even just bury their bodies like honored foes, but... I mean, come on. Risk of death. Because severe illness. Amputating or replacing infected limbs. What infected? Torso. Doc? I don't mean to be bothersome. Can you do what you can for that fucker? Get the Glitter World medicine and save their life, if possible. God, what a horrible situation. Poor mood, no fucking kidding. Get over there and save their life. God, Doc is just not reliable under pressure. That may even be in his character. No? It just works out that way that when pressure's tough, like, Doc, we got shit to deal with, man. We get this food hauled in, we're set for, like, a season. What exactly is your... Very joy-deprived, urgently... How urgently hungry are you? Just hungry. Just eat the meal for yourself first. I know you're... I know you've been busy like everyone. Look, I'm sorry, okay? We can work this out. There you go, now get him fed. Look at their needs. They need rest. I mean, Chili definitely is going to bed after this. Lumi might be able to make one more run. Or do some other necessary task. I 
I'll let someone else do it. Yeah, Lumi, you're gonna have to stay up a little bit longer. Get some of this shit done. Severe illness. I know you're suffering. Developed immunity. We are using, like, Glitter World Medicine is so good that with proper medical care, like, I'm convinced. We should be able to... Oh, they dropped the beaver. Wow, he just, he just dropped it and was like, fuck this, I'm running now. Needs hungry. Alright, there you go. Now we got that, and... Yeah, you guys just drop the beaver. Okay, butcher the beavers, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what metaphor that is, but it was probably horrifying. We'll leave all the leather and the blood and the whatever to fucking later. We'll handle it later. This person is hungry. This person is urgently hungry. Let me... Let me, could you... Are you set to warden at all? Like... Here, if I set it like this, can I tell you to deliver the damn food? What if I set you to doctor? You are set to... So the prisoner will just not be fed today? I mean, I know you're sleepy. Joy deprived. Yeah, there hasn't exactly been time, has there? That shiv is still just sitting there from the attack. Degrading in quality all the time. How many beavers are still up there? Eight beaver corpses. We're gonna need to fucking get on that. At least as many as we can. That is good resources. We can't afford to just pass it up. Of course, we gotta get the warehouse done, and it needs to have flooring. It's bothering the heck out of me. And I'm like, but I don't want to waste steel because... While we have some steel now, we only have some steel. It's going to be the bottleneck resource, whereas there is just wood everywhere. Like, to build buildings, we're going to need to fucking tear down wood things, so... It's going to take a lot of wood, but I do think this is how we're rolling. One day. How urgently hungry are you? Yeah, his food meter is way down. We need... Is there some reason I can't... No, don't strip him. Look, I know you're joy dep What is going on? Something stupid is happening. Also, do we... S yeah, we set these guys to chat and recruit. Not that there's been a lot of time, necessarily. I'm sorry your situation sucks. We're doing our best here. Yeah, they need some time to relax. We can't have these mood debuffs on top of everything else. There we- oh, suddenly that appears. Are you still bleeding? Doc is not a warden. Yeah, you have to be a warden to deliver food. Sorry to w fucking wake you up early, Lumi. You can do whatever you want afterwards. But survival needs are going to be, you know, the priority here. First chat we've had with anyone in like a day. There's your fucking food, boy. -o. They're fine for stuff, at least for now. Get yourself something to eat. 
Now, honestly, I do think we have much bigger priorities for the moment. Heck, Doc, go haul, haul some beavers. Still sounds like a euphemism for something. Let me just get it over here. It's the other side of the damn map. But hey, we stopped it. Stopped the deadly beavers. That's 58 potatoes that are gonna spoil, like, soon. And don't get me wrong, Lumi, you can relax until you're not joy-deprived anymore. Get those potatoes holding. Potatoes. I like potatoes. There's your random reference of the hour. Very joy-deprived. God, our sleep schedule is really fucked up because of the everything. What the hell was that noise? Animals must be fighting somewhere. That's fine. He's hungry too. He can, you know, do whatever. Cooking is really not the priority. I mean. Yeah, we're gonna need food items. We gotta get these handled though. We gotta get all this stuff handled. Cleaning all that blood is gonna suck. Cause everyone's gonna be horrified like, oh, there's so much blood. There you go. Yeah, go for it. That's what I want. Now feel free to have some food, you know, chill out a little bit. You'd think their joy would go up while they're chatting, but... Yeah. Hey, Doc. Get the shiv hauled into our respective storehouse. Just... So we have it. I just have a feeling. And all the potatoes. Chili has done enough work for now. Can at least fucking chill out a little bit. Things have just been rough, you know? But we're working through it. We're managing things. God, there really is just a mountain in the way. Do we have wood? Not really. There we go. At least... This meat is gonna pay off in a big way. Shit ready for harvesting. Sick, hideous environment. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Go ahead and clean, chili. Like. without table. We could do something about these situations. Uh, I gotta admit, not a party. Here, yeah, yeah, I will clean the blood out of your cell. It's weird that once they're locked into the door opening animation, they can't do anything about it, really. Don't strip the prisoner. It's always the first place your colonists go to. Honestly, Chili's doing all right now. You could do some work. There you go. Now it's very ugly. People are tracking dirt and stuff. Yeah, that's fine enough. At least that helps a little bit. We do need to get that shit. All right, Doc. You have slept your problems away. Actually, not really. The air conditioning was turned off. Well, it's useful now. God, all that clothing. The Molotovs. Just all the shit that needs doing. But 
that's how it goes, you know? Lumi's getting it done. Dragging these things in before they spoil. At least, uh, like, a few of them might spoil, but... Every one we get is resources. And animals are plentiful, but... I just hate to see it go to waste. I know, I'll give them the disturbed sleep, sleep debuff, which is bad. We're on kind of like different shifts at this point. We can't just let shit like this go to waste. Although bad quality clothing is one of those things where... You can't sell it for anything and you can't really use it for anything and people bitch if you give them it. I still feel like clothing shouldn't be going to waste in this situation. Yeah, Lumi knows what's up. I don't even have to tell her. It's very handy. Is there anything else we've just left out here? Probably lots of things. We didn't even want to haul this stuff to... Here, flick the switch before you go to bed. So at least there's some air conditioning. Might not be needed tonight, but we'll be fine. It's three in the morning. Yeah, Lumi, after this you can go to bed. Jesus. Eat something and then go to bed. Nobody's even tried to recruit the prisoners lately, which is only going to make this process take longer. There, just store the meat and then... There you go. Eat something. Hey, Doc. Then I'm guessing straight to bed. Yep. That's fine. We're kind of like doing in shifts. Which is probably a good idea considering we have prisoners. Someone needs to be up at all times in case the nerds are fucking restless. Joy deprived. Well, visit the graves. They are some distance out. It's affecting our efficiency. Urgently hungry. Hungry. Doc, far be it from me to tell you what to do. Don't give me a fucking break. Unless you're a warden, you can't figure out the prisoners should probably receive food. Come on. You're not even that joy deprived compared with everyone else. You've been fucking sitting at base. Now you've been doing stuff. food for that prisoner too. There you go. Cons not even... Eat the simple meal, not the potato. Because they'll get a debuff for, oh, I ate raw food. Regardless that it was on your own dumb decision when you could have not done that. Just taking a walk around the, the crops and the gardens and stuff. That's fine. Doc's gonna make himself useful to the shock and consternation of many. Oh, Jesus. Those three amounts of lightning are hitting us. And there's no rain to stop it either. And that's right where the fucking corpses are. They're gonna get a fucking Viking funeral now. So our efforts to stop... Okay. God damn it. Well, that's over water, but. <sighs> so, our efforts to stop the deforestation are just going to be foiled. There's just gonna be a lot of fucking fire until the next rain. Some of those beavers will be gone. All the effort we took. Just pointless. Look, we could really use a hand. We are dealing with a hundred things and trying to keep you fuckers alive. At least you're no longer suffering with these injuries. There you go. Flash storm is over. 
The effects are not. Oh my god, the speech worked. Fucking welcome to New Hope. That can be your bed. I'll do that because I'll forget otherwise. We'll get you a floor when we're good and ready, Doc. We are not good and ready. Tell you what, Doc. Get in there. Get the beavers before the place burns. Or we just can't anymore. Cabin fever, mild. Yeah, go grab your shit. You're just totally naked. Wait a second, how are you naked? Are you just naturally white as... Never mind. There's probably some genetic engineering going on there. Tell you what, three is a big improvement over four. We'll see about giving them a gun at some point. I don't think we have any to spare. But for right now, Jesus. We gotta do something, but the question is what? Like, we could try to build stone walls which don't burn, but that takes fucking time. You can't just do that on a whim. You know, you can't cut a fire line. Also, I'm presuming the AI is capable of doing this without just getting itself burned alive. Very joy deprived. Relaxation is definitely does not seem to be on the menu. It's more than less than a day. Like, some of those are gonna go bad. Oh, you know how to cook. So you come to think about it, what are you good for? Another commissar. Uh... If you need to be a patient or to fight fires, do that. Bed rest is important, flicking switches is important. You're pretty good at being a warden. I don't know, it might be good if he convinces his former buddy. I don't think that matters, like, for the game's mechanics. But it would be nice. I want you to do these things even though you're not good at them. It'll be fine. We all suck, too. Oh, you're not bad at research. Cool. Not that we've had a chance to do any of that forever. There, now you're at least set to do, you know, stuff. Hopeful things. Oh, you had other research. Why are they... Oh, they're hauling into the dumping zone, not the freezer. Because the freezer is full of pointless shit. That's only most of the way. Hey, Lumi. I mean, it's better than nothing. Just like Mighty Number no. 9. It's better than an anime fan on prom night. There you go. Yeah, by all means, meet your. I forgot! That's gonna bother her for life. Although she likes it. Good. Stay positive. We'll just try not to think about what's happening in the north. All the trees we fought to save. I'm gonna pray for rain. Even if I tasked all my colonists on this, we could not stop this. We just have to let it happen. At least it's relatively... That sucks. Probably have a fucking wood shortage or something stupid soon. How are those beaver corpses? Have they rotted yet? Well, first of all, they're inaccessible. We may have gotten them all. But man, things are just hectic. What's the recruit chance on this person? I mean, I know your conditions aren't great. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, they're really fucking opposed.
Okay. It's not funny anymore. Cold now. Huh. I guess switch on the heater, switch off the AC. Psychic drone affecting female persons. I will say... Again, welcome to RimWorld. A random psychic drone. I don't think that's, like, on the map. A distant, powerful AI is emitting waves of psychic force that are driving people towards insanity. I don't think that's, like, a thing on the map we can go fight. Alright. Hmm. Obviously, the stone is not burning. I bet that steel burns. I bet we lose a bunch of steel. Because although you and me know that jet fuel can't melt steel beams, nobody told the programmers. Poor Lumi. I wonder, does that affect... Oh yeah, it affects the prisoner. Great. So they just hate everything now. on the basics of microelectronics. The stuff we have is very simple. Very simple business. Honestly, Lumi, I'm gonna be honest with you. Why is this environment ugly? Is it just because there's dirt everywhere that needs cleaning? Like, one thing of dirt and they bitch. Like, oh, life is dirty. Oh, oh, I love what's happening. Do you know he doesn't have a hey, dirty environment message? Because it's dirt, so he expects it to be dirty. So you see what's happening is the person whose bedroom has a floor is much more annoyed than the person whose bedroom has no floor at all. I guess we really shouldn't get on that shit. I sound super salty at the game now, but it's just, you know, things are hectic and stressful. It's just how it goes. Ah, yeah, Loco, just keep using that room, I guess. <laughs> the place we imprisoned you. Oh, boy. You guys picked a hell of a time. Maybe they went to the fire. Oh. Nope. It looks like... Oh wow, did the chief come to visit us? No. Wait a second. You guys aren't fans of us. Hey, welcome aboard though. If you're willing to visit peacefully this- What would really be funny is if the event was like, they pretend to be visitors and then they come here and they just attack while they've gotten close. It'd be four on four. It would be messy business. Who's good socially? Oh yeah, nice work, Lumi. Fuck's sake. Okay. Who's got good social? I mean, who's got good character social? Social seven, five, eleven. Chili really is great at socializing. Just saying he's a jerk. <laughs> but he's a jerk in that friendly way, so hey. Insulted. Oh, how, you now you know how it feels. Come on, Chili. Actually, first thing we need to do is check to see if there's anything we can trade. Now, because this is not marked as a proper store area for some of these items... Also, the door has been left open in the fridge. Motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, look, there's some items that we might be able to trade to them, but... A wooden... Honestly, an awful wooden club. You literally could grab a log in this game, and it's better. Now, they have herbal medicine to sell, and it is at a re relatively reasonable price. It's be Again, it is better than an anime fan on prom night, so we have to consider. Also, 
we've got a lot of fucking potatoes. Now, as you can imagine, since we grow them for, like, free, they don't go for much. But we have so much. We can at least give them enough to maybe even out the score. No, that would be difficult. Grilling commerce action. Just give them, like, a ton of our potatoes. We're gonna be fine on stuff for a while. Now, I always love variety in food, but... We're gonna be... And there's more, like, crops coming in. We're gonna be just fine to sell. You know, I kinda wish it sold for more than... That is a lot of food, guys. I mean... Apparently on Rimworld, stuff grows fast. Alpha beef. What we could do instead... Is if we done that, and then... Maybe I don't want to sell... Maybe I want to sell a hundred. It's just a hundred of our alpha beaver meat. That gives us a profit. It's nice. A normal short... A, an excellent steel spear. That would do some damage. That is a... Melee damage 20. With a 2.3 second cooldown. Now it's too expensive for a spear. But hey. Thrumbo meat. Nah, I won't get it like just for the... In fact, what we could do is... There we go. Sell almost half our beaver meat. There's so fucking much. Now normally, you know, don't sell food is the primary like lesson to always take. But we have enough that we could make food and then like make like fine meals so everyone will be in a bit better mood just to help counteract some of these issues in return we get herbal medicine uh we could sell them our components but that's such a bad idea no this is fine we'll just take some silver oh right i mean that's fine i mean i don't mind keeping our stuff i really want this beaver meat I feel like every time I say that, that I should make some kind of inappropriate commentary. Here, this will do. That's fine. There you go, deal. Nice doing business with you. Now to haul it in like everything else. In fact, yeah, we're gonna switch to fine meals. Move it up in priority. That's because I'm thinking we have enough food. Speaking of that, we can finally train... Rex was never trained in obedience. I guess I was like, oh, because they use food to train the animals, so it's like, oh, that's a waste of resources. It's like, yeah. Feel free to chill out and visit, guys. I mean, while you're here, I feel a little better about things. Just pray for rain. God damn it. At least, because of where the fire developed... Yeah, that steel. That steel's just gone. Could I... God, I don't know. Could that could be done safe? Heck, we could probably burn out just that bit of fire. If we designate it as the home zone. Let's try it. Moving the colony, uh... Not a practical consideration. Our colonists are going to go deal with that, hopefully. Actually, it doesn't seem like they care. Just to get it along to the colonists. Actually, she'll complete that one, which is fine. But... Yeah, we do have an extra pistol. Alright, Loco. Normally, I would not just give you a pistol after such a time frame has passed. We're gonna need all hands on deck. Does anybody care? Sewing is really not the... The door open on the fridge. Presumably, just to make me mad.
we're slowly moving things to the warehouse, but God knows when we're going to get everything, you know, handled. If there's ever a fire in the warehouse, having it be made out of wood is bothersome. But compared to the alternatives, yeah. Just in case our colonists need something to mine. She's probably not going to see reason while we're... Foggy rain. The game is alleging that foggy rain is occurring. There we Oh, thank God. In some climates, there's no rain at all, but damn. We preserved some of the, you know... break this down while we're out here. At least a little bit. Oh, let's break it down! But yeah, whatever. Do your stuff. I do not understand the, the mechanics of this. But it is nice to see a rainfall. Even though it means the items left out will be in trouble. I don't think we missed anything. What the fuck? Okay, something weird happened. Also, we're going to remove this from the home zone before weird things happen. It's like at least... Ah. A bit of good news. Even while the psychic drone carries on. Unless it's in some random fucking room like this and we, and we have to bust in and destroy it. That's going to be fun. Lost ancient battle robots. But whatever. We have new friends. This thing is developing into what we might almost call a colony. Let's just pray for some calm times. Just a bit. Just enough calm times. Enough calm times to, you know, stock. Get some stuff done. Yeah, there you go. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see some people who aren't attacking us. Next time on RimWorld. Life goes on as ever.